first of all, I want to congratulate you. You know, we at day 30 of this 91 day challenge. Most people will never in their life follow for 30 days in a row something. Even if it's as important as this course that I'm giving here on, on YouTube and Facebook for free, it is very difficult for, for most people. But I want to take this up now to the next level. So maybe let me tell you what we are busy doing in terms of being a modern day alchemist or a wealth creator. And a wealth creator and a modern day alchemist is basically a person that knows how to create, to grow, to protect, and to enjoy their wealth. There's two areas that we need to work on constantly. The one is the mental side, the mindset, and the other one is the performance side. In other words, the skills that we need to have in order to take an idea and turn that idea into gold or whatever. We are busy with this concept of taking an idea at the moment that I'm busy showing my inner circle students and turn that into physical gold, like one else of pure gold, right? That is what we, we're doing. So the first 30 days, what we've been doing is we've concentrated and worked on the qualities and a little bit of the traits that we need to have as modern day alchemists. Without those qualities, it simply cannot happen that we can take an idea and convert that into into a, a desk or into a computer, something like that. What I'd like to do now is over the next 30 days, so this is introduction to the next 30 days, is to start giving you some of the basic, basic techniques that you can implement in your life. And that I guarantee you, if you do this just for 30 days, you will see results on condition that you do what I'm going to tell you. Now, I can tell you most people are not going to do it. They're going to listen and, you know, not getting the results, but at least it felt good. It's almost like checking the secret where the law of attraction and itself good, but people don't get the results simply because they don't understand that the performance part is as important as the mindset part. So over the next 30 days, that is what we're going to do. And today is going to be like introduction to that and what to expect. And then in the last 30 days, this is where most gurus get it totally wrong. You see, if you're an alchemist, you understand that everything is away. And in the wave, there's two sides to that wave. We call it polarity. There's a positive and a negative. And what people do is they try to focus on the positive. In other words, positive mindset, and you, you have to think right. And, and that is not where the trick lies. The trick is in the negative. And this is what we want to avoid. But the universe, the creation, shows us that it's part of one wave. And if we do not know, how to handle the negative. There's no ways, there's no ways that we will get the positive. But before we get there, we first need to understand the qualities that we need because those qualities can be positive as well as negative. I've just focused on the positive side up to now. And now we're going to do the manifestation part. In other words, this is where the tire meets the dark. And this is where the real work is going to happen over the next 30 days in order to do the manifestation or to start with the manifestation process in order to take a way or a thought and turn it into, into gold or into matter. And then the last part, I'm going to show you how to build and use negativity, the negative side of things in order to create an incredible outward spiral where we can call ourselves a modern day alchemist or wealth creators. So. Maybe let me give you a very, very quick introduction in terms of what I mean with mindset as well as with performance. We can see that mindset is important as well as performance. If we divide that, we're going to see that in mindsets, we get high mindsets as well as low mindsets. And then in performance, there's low performance and high performance. And if we can give them names, just because I'm going to refer to this during this course or the rest of this course. We can say that if you've got low performance and low mindsets, then you fall into the follows quadrant. If you've got a high mindset and low 
performance, you're going to fall into the dreamer's quadrant. If you've got high performance, that low mindset, you're going to fall into the doer's category. And if you've got high mindset and high performance, you're going to fall into the modern day alchemist or in the wealth creators category. It's important that we understand how these categories work. Of course, I'm not going to really get into it. I just give you an overview. The only place where the transmutation of energy happens will always be in the fourth quadrant. In other words, in the wealth creators or the modern day alchemist in that quadrant. That is where I'm going to show my students that I'm busy with how to take an idea and convert it into gold or into whatever you are. In this quadrant, as soon as you're there, you're going to find that it's an infinite quadrant. In other words, there are no limitations once we're there. It's just as easy to create one ounce of gold than what it is to create kilogram of gold or 10 kilograms of gold. Why is it that the people fall into these different quadrants? First of all, there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of those quadrants. I've been in all those quadrants before I started and before I realized that there's a method that we can follow in order to get whatever we want for free, simply become a modern day alchemist. So the question that we can ask is, if it's so easy, then why is it that so few people are rich? It's simply because there's a missing link. You see, the missing link is this that I'm talking about, this mindset as well as performance. And we need the skills in both of these. Unfortunately, they do not teach us the high value mental skills, and they do not teach us the high value financial skills when we talk in terms of finances, but you can apply this, of course, in all areas of life. So you literally get boxed into that quadrant that you're in, and that become your limitation. The only way that you'll be able to break through the solution is to change from a limited mindset and skill set by gaining an unstoppable mindset. That's the only way that the breakthrough is going to happen. And there's a path, a very specific path that we can follow in order to do it. Because the moment that you break through and you've got the right path, you're going to find that you are where you want to be. So how do you develop an unstoppable mindset? The question that I'd like to ask you, and it was one of the questions that we've covered right in the beginning of this course, is are you interested in achieving your financial goals or are you committed to achieving them? That, that's the question. Of course, you see, if you're interested, you're going to do what is convenient. You're going to come up with stories. You're going to come up with excuses. And you're going to allow your limited beliefs and your habits to control you. And then, of course, you're going to do what is easy. And the moment that there's a problem, the moment that things are getting a little bit difficult or confused, people give up. And then they're up to the next one. because. They do not have the skills to take an ordinary mindset and turn it into an unstoppable mindset. And that's why in the Wealth Creators Method, we've got the Unstoppable Mindset course, which is a course to teach you the skills in order to have this specific mindset. What happens the moment that you are committed? This is where the fun happens, because the moment that you are committed, you're going to take action in spite of your doubts and your fear. Fear, everyone's got it, but how do you handle that fear and how do you use that fear? It's almost like the polarity in the wave where we only want to focus on the positive, but the positive cannot be a positive without the negative and the negative there is there for a very, very specific reason. Why is there something like negativity if it's got no function? The negativity has got a function, but only for the trained mind, not for the untrained mind. In other words, unless you've got an unstoppable mindset, you will not know how to use the negative in order to turn that into a positive. The moment that you're committed, automatically, you're going to upgrade your mindset, your skill sets, and your action sets. And it's very important to understand that in your skill sets, there are two kinds of skill sets. There are the normal skill sets. In other words, I call it the conventional skill sets that the educational system, the financial system, the political system, the religious system, what they try to enforce on us and wants us to believe. And then you get the universal or the metaphysical or the alchemist or the hermetic principles that is 100% opposite to what we believe in. 
And that is what we need to focus. And those are the skills in terms of the mindset that we have to get and to master, as well as from the performance in order to be able to take an idea and turn it into, into unlimited wealth. And because of that, then the action sets are going to become a lot easier. And it's actually a reverse of this whole process because it's unlimited what we can achieve once we do it in the right way. Also, if you're committed, you're going to choose to let go of anything that is holding you back. So whatever people is going to throw at you, you will not let that keep you from becoming the best that you can be. The commitment, that is the missing link when it comes to forming an unstoppable mindset. I hope that you've got it. So that is what we look at. And the moment that you then move into that quadrant, you're going to find that now a reverse happens. For those people, once you're in that quadrant, to the outsiders, it looks like we are doing and performing magic. When I said to people, I'm going to buy a game farm with no money, people thought that I'm crazy. And when it happened, they, they don't want to believe it. Or buy a helicopter without costing you see or buying properties without costing you see or retire within two to three years after you start the process. Most people are going to say, you're mad, it can't be done. And it's simply because they do not have an unstoppable mindset that's going to help them to get to a high value mental skills. It, it's that simple. I, I think that is basically what I want to tell you. So what's the process? The process is uh, start with our high mindset. That is what we are busy with at the moment. Unless you are committed, and I'm going to test your commitment over the next 30 days, because first of all, I'd like you to go back to the first lesson if you did not follow the sequence. If you did not do the little homeworks that I've given you, go back and take it one lesson at a time. Remember, we are busy changing our destiny through this course. Now, over the next 30 days, this is going to get more intense because I'm going to expect a lot more from you than what I've expected. In the beginning, in the first 30 days, I've just touched and talked about stuff. Now we're going to do this stuff. And then at the last 30 days, we're going to reverse this whole process so that it becomes effortlessly because we know why there are negatives in life and why there are problems in life and what those problems mean and how we can use those problems and negativity in order for us to grow. Right. So. We develop an unstoppable mindset. If you're really serious into this, then let me know and we can see if we can help you or we can invite you to a, a webinar or a masterclass where I can tell you more about that if, of course, you're serious. Now, the moment that we've got the high value mindsets, the next thing is we need to focus on performance. And in the performance, we've got three things financially that we need to focus on. The first one is high income skills. And this is, if you know how to take an idea, convert it into, into one ounce of gold, even if it takes you a year, you've got a skill that my friend is, is really a high value income skill. But how do we turn that high value income skill then into business? Because that is where the second one comes in. It's a high value business skill. So if I know how to create one ounce of gold in a year in my spare time, then if I take that process, suddenly I can get like four in a year, but it takes less of my time. Now, the moment that we understand how to do it, we take it to the next level. And that is where the high value investment skills comes in. Where with very, very little effort compared to the first um, income skill and business skill, where we can then convert that and get it into, let's call it one kilogram of gold, which is about 32 ounces of gold. And by the way, my inner circle students will see actually how I'm taking them through this process by doing it myself. So if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comment section. Also, where do you see yourself? In the comment section, you can tell me, do you see yourself maybe as a dreamer, even though you do not know exactly what the terminology is, or do you see yourself as a wealth creator and can prove it that you can take an idea and turn it into a free helicopter or a free house or a free uh, investment or, you know, turn a hundred rand and 20 million, stuff like that. Or are you a doer that is really working very, very hard, doing well, 
but you can see that you're not getting any in life. So that is your little assignment. And then from tomorrow on, you see that we're going to change the format a little bit. Give me your thoughts in the comment section, and then I'll see you tomorrow.